Hey everyone, Gary Simon of CourseCetro.com and today I have a quick tip that's going to make your life just a little bit easier if you're a Windows user using the Adobe XD Preview. Now unfortunately, because it's still an early stage, there's not a lot of functionality with it. And if you wanna preview your designs or your prototypes while you're designing them on your mobile phone, well, you really can't do that without uh, some extra work essentially. So right now, if you plug in your phone and you try to design and you try to preview it with the Adobe XD app, it won't work. So unfortunately, you have to upload your XD file and then you'll be able to preview it. And even that's not very straightforward. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that real quick. But first, I'll show you on my own phone the design that we did in the previous tutorial just to show you how that works. All right, so let's say for example, you have your document here in XD open and you know the prototype works when you hit play, all that exciting stuff. We'll just click on that, yada, yada, yada. And now you wanna preview it on your phone. Well, what do you do? Do you press this button right here? Well, this is coming soon, unfortunately. Now, maybe it's over here, I thought. No, nope. export. That's not gonna work. Save as, that's not gonna work. So what do you do? Well, I found out that you have to visit the Creative Cloud app, the desktop, desktop app. And in here, we have a little section called Assets. Well, we click Open Folder. This is where you place your XD files right here. And voila. So essentially when you open up the Adobe XD prototyping app on your phone, when you go to my assets, it's gonna show whatever is inside here. So once you place or save this as right here, say for example, you, you know where this folder is, copy that, come over here, save as, paste it in that directory, save it, and then you're gonna be good to go. All right, so if you just came here to this video to learn how you know to preview it on the current XD beta for Windows, you can probably leave now. But I wanted to show something real quick just because this video is so damn short of something I've been working on and it's based on a course that I'm gonna be releasing very shortly. So this is a preview here using Ionic Serve and this is an app that I've created and I'm gonna show all of you guys how to both design and code. So what this is, is a movie searching app specifically for a genre uh, in the horror genre. And right now it's listing out all the movies only in 2017 that are based on this genre. So the whole point of the course is kind of show you how to hook into an API and also create customizations in terms of filters based on that API. I also have a lot of other things going on here. So if I scroll down by default, I think it's showing around 20, but I also have worked in infinite scroll so if we go down here, we just click on one of these random things here. We'll see it gives you a more detailed page about what's happening or you know about the specific movie itself. Uh, so if I just click right here, for instance, we have a popularity, blah, blah, blah. This play thing right here will not work on the browser because it's using a Cordova native plugin for YouTube. So if you just click it, it plays a the first trailer that's associated with the video. And yeah, so I'm pretty excited about this course. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be showing everything, like how to design this in Adobe Illustrator, um, how to export it properly, how to include it in your uh, ultimate uh, project so that it shows up on the phone uh, as an app launcher. And also using Adobe XD as well to design these two primary screens, so, you know, listing this stuff out here and also this stuff out here. You can also see animations that are worked in here, which look a lot better on a phone as opposed to just this uh, preview here. But yeah, look out for that within the next week, maybe. I already have this uh, icon design part done. And so yeah, that's, that's why I've been uh, kind of just a slightly absent. And this is also why I have such a very short video for you today. I have been killing myself trying to get it ready.
All right, so hopefully that was helpful. I've been working really hard on the Ionic 2 course that I've been talking about lately. Uh, so that's kind of why I made this real quick video that's probably going to not be worthwhile in a month or two once Adobe updates XD to include that functionality. But otherwise, no big deal. Check out CourseCetro.com and make sure to subscribe here on YouTube if you want more videos like this. All right, see you later.